to a new edition of Ralph's Rival Christmas Special. Today we will be making the forever loved mulled wine. We have two oranges, uh, lemon juice because we haven't got any peel, um, cinnamon stick, cloves, sugar and some pre-made red wine with a bit of brandy in. So first of all I'm just going to pour the ready mix thing in with that. And turn the heat on. Turn the heat on to a medium. I'd say about uh, four. Just going to let that um, uh, boil for a bit and then I'll add This is a great one to warm or if you're an alcoholic. Um, we're not going to try it yet. Um, so far smelling pretty nice, just letting it warm through. Um, and I'm now going to add the sugar in. Just a bit of that. Two tablespoons of sugar. Keep that like that. Um, then just give it like a little stir around. Now you should see the sugar become, well, less, well, you should see the sugar soaking into the red wine mixed with a bit of brandy. Just leave it there a minute. Give it a good stir so nothing sticks, because this is a catastrophe then. Um, try getting caramelised sugar out. Best of luck. Um, now we are going to add a, a tiny bit of lemon juice. Um, first I'm going to pour it onto a spoon. I could get it open. Yep, right. Just a little tiny bit of lemon. And just one full up. That should be enough. Um, as you can see, nothing much is happening yet. Just apart from the sugar is just being melted down. Right. Now, I am going to add the oranges. Hang on. Just either cut an orange in half, and then literally just squeeze all the juice out into it. So it makes it lovely and juicy. That is all the juice coming out of that one. Now, the other bit. If you have a cut on your hand, squeezing this will hurt quite a bit. As I think I've got a tiny cut and it's just got in there. Um, yeah. Right, that should be it for the minute. That's it. Keep keep it going round so it doesn't get too bad. And now to put like the other bits in just for um flavouring and that. I can go upside down. Hang on. Hang on. Right, so try and face the oranges down if you've got pieces like that. So then the flavour can escape and then it goes straight into the red wine. Preferably dice it up. Um, I would. Um, this should... Oh, smelling quite strong at the minute. 
Right, um, now to add the cinnamon sticks. Hang on a second. Just try and break it up a minute. That'll do, let me just whack it in. And then, simply, put in like that. Give it a stir. And then, last but not least, the uh, cloves. All you need is like two or three cloves, and it should be right. Right, now it is at a bub uh, simmering point. Um, so far the smell coming off is very nice at the minute. You can probably see the steam. And so far, this looks like it's coming along well. Um... If you want the recipe, we'll link it to our website. Right. Now, we are going to add some more red wine. Right guys, now it's simmering. We uh, should be able to try it in a minute. It's smelling lovely at the minute. All the cinnamon, cloves, brandy, wine, all mixed together. Great winter night. Merry Christmas to you all. Here is the finishing product of our lovely mulled wine. We um have tasted a tiny bit and it is tasting absolutely lovely. Um not great for little kids but great for adults. Um it's definitely got a bit of a spice to it. Um it's got a kick of the red wine and the brandy all mixed together which gives it a bit more kick to it and more of a wow factor. Oh. Definitely smells like Christmas now.